everyone. Our lesson for today is all about recognizing when two quantities are in direct proportion. What do you mean by direct proportion? When we say direct proportion is a relationship between two quantities if one quantity increases or decreases, the other quantity increases or decreases too. When two quantities are in direct proportion, then they are directly proportional. Take a look at this example. As x increases, also y increases. Therefore, this shows a direct proportion. To understand further how to recognize direct proportion, let's study the following examples. Determine if the following situations represent direct proportion or not. Our first situation. Alexa uses four cups of water for every two cups of rice. Eight cups of water for every four cups of rice. To understand this situation, we're going to put it in a table. For the first statement, four cups of water for every two cups of rice. So we can make our first ratio. And it is 4 is to 2. For the second statement, 8 cups of water for every 4 cups of rice. So our second ratio is 8 is to 4. Kindly observe the number of cups of water and the number of cups of rice. As the cups of water increases, the cups of rice also increases. So, this is a direct proportion. If we're going to multiply the means and the streams, 4 times 4 is equal to 16, and 2 times 8 is also equal to 16. The situation represents a direct proportion since the first and the second quantities increases proportionally. Second situation. Ten men can build a house in six months. Twenty men will do the same job in three months. Let's analyze the situation. For the first statement, ten men can build a house in six months. So we can make our first ratio, and it is ten is to six. For the second statement, twenty men will do the same job in three months. So, our second ratio is 20 is to 3. Kindly observe the number of men and the number of months. As the number of men increases, the number of months decreases. So, is this shows a direct proportion or not? Yes, this is not shows a direct proportion. The situation does not represent a direct proportion because the increase in the first column, men, caused the second column, months, to decrease. Moreover, if we're going to analyze the problem, if more people will do the same job, less time to do it. Our third situation. Annalyn can type 300 words in 10 minutes and she can do 150 words in 5 minutes. Let's analyze our situation. For the first statement, number of words 300, number of minutes is 10, then we can make our first ratio. This is equal to 300 is to 10. For the second statement, she can do 150 words in 5 minutes. So, our second ratio is 150 is to 5. So, kindly observe the number of words and the number of minutes. 300 down to 150, 
10 down to 5. So, as the number of words decreases, the number of minutes also decreases. So, this means that it shows a direct proportion. The situation represents a direct proportion since the first and the second decrease proportionally. Good job, Mastlet! You already know how to recognize a direct proportion. Then, this time, let's apply what you have learned. Solve the following problems involving direct proportion. Our first problem. Carlo read 10 pages of his book for 15 minutes during his free time. If he had 50 minutes of free time, how many pages could he have read? To answer our problem, let's analyze using a table. For the first sentence, Carlo read 8 pages of his book for 16 minutes. If he had 50 minutes of free time, how many pages could he have read? In this problem, our question is, the number of pages could he have read for 50 minutes free time? So, we're going to make two quantities. The first ratio is 8 is to 16 and the second ratio is n is to 50. We use n as our variable because we don't know yet how many pages could he have read for 50 minutes. Then we're going to make a proportion. 8 is to 16 is equal to n is to 50. As we know that, proportion is equal to the product of the means equals the product of the extremes. So in this example, 8 and 50 are the streams we're going to multiply. 8 times 50 is equal to 400 and 16 and n are the means. So we're going to get the product. 16 times n is equal to 16n. We're just going to combine the number and letter. Then to get the value of n or the number of pages, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 16. 16 n divided by 16 is equal to n. Then 400 divided by 16, the answer is 25. Therefore, he can read 25 pages for 50 minutes. Our second problem. A hospital needs 240 antibiotic capsules to treat 15 patients. How many capsules will be needed for 20 patients? Let's analyze the problem. For the first sentence, there are 240 antibiotic capsules for 15 patients. And for the second sentence, how many capsules will be needed for 20 patients? So, our problem in this example is we're going to know the number of capsules for 20 patients. So let's make first a ratio. The first ratio is 240 is to 15. And the second ratio is n is to 20. We use again n to represent the number of capsules. Then we're going to make a proportion with these two ratios. So our proportion is 240 is to 15 is equal to n is to 20. Then we're going to multiply 240 and 20 and it gives the results of 4,800 and 15 times n is equal to 15n. To get the value of n or the number of our capsules, we're going to divide 15, both sides of the equation, to make the equation balance. So, 
15n divided by 15, we are going to cancel 15 and the remaining element at the right side is n. 4,800 divided by 15, the answer is equal to 320. Therefore, there are 320 capsules needed for 20 patients. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching. Until next time!